We're going to take you through the installation of a 100 hectare subsurface drip irrigation system in northern Victoria. Of all irrigation methods, subsurface drip helps achieve the highest yields and the best water use efficiency. The first step is to have a design done. The design sets out the hydraulic parameters for the system and acts as the blueprint for the installation. Then the ground needs to be prepared. We are laying the drip line between 25 and 30 centimetres below the surface, so the ground needs to be ripped to a depth below this. The soil needs to be a fine tilth for the drip line to be easily installed. At this time, the preliminary works can begin, the installation of the main line. Then the drip line is laid. A laying machine is used with tines and tubes to rip the drip line into the ground at the required depth and at the required lateral spacing. In this situation, the drip line laterals will be 1.5 metres apart. The lateral spacing is dictated by the soil type and the crops that are planned to be grown. When the drip line reel runs out, the tractor stops and a joiner is used to join to the next reel. The drip line is installed to just beyond the proposed sub-main location. A trench will then be dug for the sub-main and the trencher will rip through the drip line at the end of the block. The installation of the drip line is controlled by the tractor's GPS system. Grommets and risers are then installed into the sub-main. It's important to have the sub-main at the back of the trench. The riser comes out of the sub-main. You want a nice even flex. You don't want anything sharp there where that can kink. And then whichever joiner you're using, join to the drip line. Valve assemblies are constructed consisting of the automatic control valve, backup filter and pilot which regulates the pressure to the specifications of the design. The pumps are then installed. The filter is a spin clean Apollo, a highly efficient automatic disc filter. The system is complete, it's time to set a program and flush the system completely. Main line, sub main and drip line. The system is now operational and ready to be used to grow high yielding and water efficient crops.